Well, on behalf of the Board of Directors, our esteemed co-founders, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the One World Awards Dinner for the 15th Anniversary International Folk Art Market. Welcome. A special thank you to our sponsor and just an amazing director. Where is Jenny Kimball? Oh, Jenny, thank you so much for the team. Thank you. A special guest, someone that I, I just continue to pinch myself that he's able to join us, and we're going to be having separate marks later in the program. But um, for our 2018 Honorary Chair, Nobel Prize recipient, Gandhi Peace Prize recipient, Congressional Gold Medal recipient, Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient, Dr. Muhammad Yunus. organizationally 
as you've showed us so beautifully over the last 14 years, soon to be 15 markets, to be nimble and entrepreneurial. So that's what we're going to be about. And it's my pleasure now to introduce to you the leader of our team, our board chair, Catherine King Coleman. Bokar is an expression of the world's indigenous cultures, rooted in traditions that come from shared values and aesthetics. In contrast to fine art, folk art is primarily utilitarian and employs local materials and techniques that express the artist's community and their cultural identity. Folk art is the second largest industry in the developing world and one of the most walkable pathways to economic stability and self-determination for men, women, and children around the world. The mission of the International Folk Art Market is to create economic opportunities for, and more importantly, with folk artists worldwide to celebrate and preserve folk art traditions. We envision a world that values the dignity and humanity of the handmade, honors timeless cultural traditions, and supports the work of master artist entrepreneurs. Since our first market in 2004, we have remained steadfast in our purpose to empower, equip, and enhance the ability of folk artists to better succeed in the global economy, with artist earnings exceeding $29 million. Guess what? By Monday, we will exceed 30 million. <laughs> Through our Mentor to Market Entrepreneurship Education Programs that accompany each annual market, we offer mentorship and empowerment, and we are proud to be moving closer to impacting one and a half million lives by working for and with almost 1,000 folk artists from 100 countries. Truly international. Folk art. Tonight we honor artists and members of the International Folk Art family whose work makes our organization and our flagship program the largest and most impactful event of its kind in the world. It is my pleasure to serve as your master of ceremonies tonight as we celebrate 15 years of art and impact. Let's begin with our Living Traditions Award. This award honors an artist cooperative or artist or artist cooperative who is an extraordinary example of the international folk art mission by contributing to the preservation of their culture through reviving and strengthening a traditional folk art while passing on that tradition to future generations. Please watch the screens at the front and at the side for a profile of this year's five finalists. Artistic expressions touch both everyday life and the mythic world in the form of cloth to cover and protect the body and family, and vessels to store, cook, and serve food, and the status symbols of jewelry and ornament, and the vivid drawings which evoke their makers' most compelling stories. Folk art in the 21st century still resonates with this energy of our forebears, even as it addresses the lives unfolding today. In keeping with the international folk art market's mission of cultural preservation, the Living Tradition Award honors artists who contribute to the preservation of culture through reviving and strengthening the traditional folk art with a strategy for passing on to future generations. This year's finalists are Angeline Onasiwe Masumi, she still follows the ladies taught her her fine plant, gathering grasses, coloring them with natural dyes, and weaving wonderful patterns into the curves and complexities of the baskets. She has taught her skills to over 30 women in her community, empowering them not just with the beauty of the Sulu culture, but also with income and opportunity. Amalia Kue. Amalia Translucent supplementary wet cotton gauze, used in the and other Maya garments. 
Amalia is president of a cooperative of 65 women, all of them deeply versed in traditional women techniques and the use of koyuche cotton, whose brown or green fibers grow naturally. Their efforts help to prevent the disappearance of this gorgeous and endangered technique. Mama Barma. But she did not initially intend to be an employer, Mama embraced the art form as a source of income during a time of financial need. What started in hardship now flourishes in success with Mama's release, Chicago Cooperative Textile Center training room, and employing dozens of women and girls. Working joyfully side by side with them, Mama helps many become masters in their own right. Ebenezer Nomora. He began by surreptitiously filling meeting molds by his elders and the males. Now a community leader and internationally acknowledged artist, CD blends global traditions with his own original pattern making. He teaches his bead making methods to anyone who is interested and aims to create a bead making school and museum in Ghana to ensure that the tradition lives on. Manisha Mishra. Manisha her work depicts traditional motifs and mythological features, even as she simultaneously draws from her encounters with nature and contemporary urban life. Manisha has devoted the last 20 years to strengthening Matil painting traditions by teaching the art to young women and to advocating for fair prices for their work. She has single-handedly raised the recognition and appreciation of this art form. The International Folk Art Market family celebrates the accomplishments of these five masterful exemplars of cultural preservation. Congratulations to all of our finalists and our 2018 Living Traditions Award recipient is CD Industry. the look that we extend to the world. 
He is one of the main reasons that our market is as beautiful as it is, each year exceeding the last. I am so proud, and a little bit perplexed, to award the 2018 Heart of the Market Award to our very own Keith Recker. Say something. <laughs> oh my God, I hate to be thanked. <laughs> Thank you very much. It is every day an honor to wake up thinking about this organization. <sighs> so thank you for this. I really appreciate it. Thank you. The next award is, a number, is another artist award. The Community Impact Award recognizes an artist or cooperative who is an extraordinary example of the IFAM mission by positively impacting social change in their community. Please watch the screens to learn about this year's finalists in this important category. But we all face the need to provide food, water, shelter, and clothing for ourselves and our families. A very few of us rise to the even greater challenge of addressing the needs of our entire communities, envisioning a better world for all, and making that vision a reality is a work of strong souls and brilliant minds. As the International Folk Art Market pursues its mission of positive change in the lives of folk artists and their communities worldwide, we learn from the example of our five Community Impact Award finalists. Each has shown us a different road forward, uniquely forged by their own skills, motivations, and commitments. Each has changed the lives of those around them for the better. Jaipur Women's Development Center, Nepal, <laughs> in the historic university of the social status in Nepal was almost lost when their homes were no longer made of mud. The Jaipur Women's Development Center preserved the art form by helping the community to adapt to paper, textiles, and ceramics. Simultaneously, they were to address entrenched issues of social status through training and literacy, business skills, nutrition, childcare, and workshops on economic self-sufficiency, freedom from exploitation, and the right to vote. The lives of material women have been uplifted forever. <coughs> Self-Help Enterprise Foundation, India. Thousands of rural women conjure loiterers as essential to the future of India. Kanta sales help to bring medical clinics to rural areas to advocate against domestic violence and child marriage, to address needs for clean water and solar power, and to provide higher education loans for children of Kanta makers. The foundation is currently building indoor toilets in order to protect women from abuse. As Shi Foundation members earn their way and address larger issues, their status and well-being are transformed. Joined together to preserve their cultural identity through paintings and public murals, children's art classes, and community art projects. Using funds from the participation in the international folk art market, the group converted a warehouse into a gallery and learning center for all ages. They also remodeled the sugar mill as a meeting place and artist and residence center. Their work has unified the artists and community, established them as leaders and earners in their community, and enriched their region with an innovative union of culture and commerce. Sangborn and Triapayam. <laughs> she also acquired great empathy, especially for women who struggle to provide for themselves and their children. Sangborn has taken her self-taught sewing techniques across Thailand, bringing economic security to women who are emotionally and intellectually challenged, those on the perimeter of society, those whom others have ignored. She has also used her earnings to provide two schools in Thailand, build playrooms, buy computers, and provide school uniforms and supplies. Sankhorn's example shows us that great creativity is truly a path to community progress. Sulafa Embroidery Center, Palestinian Territories. <laughs> Chaotic, politically tense, and dangerous community 
have a chance to learn traditional embroidery techniques in a stable environment. At home, they use these techniques to make elaborate shawls, clothing and home accessories, whose sales are sometimes the only cash income their families earn. The center also works to improve the health care available to artists. The emotional and economic effects of Salafa's work are simply essential to the women involved. As one of the artist's comments, embroidery moves me from a visible reality to a magic world. The International Volcar Market family honors and applauds the good work of all our finalists. You humble and Congratulations to all of our finalists for lifting up their communities through their resources and their service. And our 2018 Community Impact Award recipient is... Sorry, you can't talk to you, but I would like to say thank you to all of you, my fam, and my two friends here who introduced me to my fam, Chico and Annette. Will you stand up, please? I fam for introducing such awards for people who work like this all over the world. And the one thing I would like to say is that I don't deserve the award. The award is reserved by, by my artisans. And I would like to accept this award on behalf of them. And if... <laughs> and if the IFAM allows me to do that, I'd like to bring eight of them next year. <laughs> I'll pay for their affairs. I don't want them to pay for their affairs. I'll pay for their affairs. They stay with Chico and Annette. And all, all I want is all of them to stand here. My eight team leaders who worked with me for 32 years to revive. So if all of you agree to that, <laughs> give my team leaders a big clap. <laughs> and next year, I'd like to bring eight of them at least. I'd like to bring... <laughs> I could bring 800. We could, we could hire an aircraft. <laughs> I could bring them, but my point is eight is enough. So next year, Look forward to seeing all of you with my eight team members. Thank you. Thank you. Keith and I began talking about what would be great for Jeff's office. And as you know, Jeff has a global vision. He has a Santa Fe vision, but he also has a global vision, as evidenced by having Dr. Eunice as our honorary chair this year. So, Keith, if you would come up. Keith, ever clever, worked with Medina Kasimbaeva, an Uzbeki Suzani embroiderer, to make a map of the world. Baev is here, and we want to thank you so much. Each of us from lands as far away as Mali, Ghana, and Uruguay have been touched by your work. Each of us has been the recipient of a micro loan and successfully repaid. us has been able to grow our artisan enterprise because 
of an idea that started with you. And when you first tried your idea, you started with artists. For your understanding that the most of the world's poor are trapped by a lack of opportunity and access to capital, and for your vision that even the most humble among us are able to repay a loan and build organizations that positively impact our communities. The international family of artists want to thank you. From all of us, thank you, Jonas, very much.
the artist family are eager for a good night's rest. Mm. Um, but I wonder if Kyriakos could join me. Kyriakos represents the new first time participating country at the international folk art market, Greece. Welcome, Greece. We're so pleased to have you join us. Um, your medium is Byzantine art. Byzantine iconography. Byzantine, uh, 2,500 year old practice of Byzantine iconography. So, um, we had a pleasure, once we learned Kyriakos was selected and was coming, we heard from the leadership of the Greek Orthodox Church in Albuquerque and Santa Fe. And on Tuesday night, there was a planned gathering to welcome Kyriakos, and they thought maybe 50 people would show up, and close to 125, 130, welcoming you to Santa Fe. Thank you. Kyriakos, by joining the IFAM family, Greece now becomes part of a world map that shows impact. Thank you to Sachiko and Sandy Panado. Uh, because of your good work and the number of artists that participate in your artisan social enterprise models and others, more than 211,000 lives will be impacted by this market. That is a credit to the artist family. Thank you. So over these next 72 hours, I'd like to go back to where we started, and that is our shared mission, where we create for and with folk artists these amazing economic opportunities. We are your eager partners in this transformative work. It is our shared joy over the next three days to watch the transformation begin in earnest. I would like to emphasize that you are here because you have earned it. You are among the best folk artists in the world. A wise man once espoused that a good way to help people is to work with them to explore and use their own capability to gain some control over their capital and enjoy the fruits of their own labor and to provide opportunities for the entrepreneurs. This thinking was put into practice and it grew and as we've heard earlier this evening all it did was touch one out of seven lives on the planet. Please embrace this opportunity. Step into it boldly and know that you have more than 2,000 people who stand by your side, provide the wind at your back, and are doing all that we can to help you succeed. You're going to need a good rest tonight. You can sleep next week, Monday, at payout. <laughs> But I wonder, as we close, because I love what Catherine suggested as the procession was winding down. Um, and by the way, I, I was wondering if we could have Cyrus back next year to call out the names of the countries. That was fantastic. <laughs> it was so beautiful. On behalf of your IFAM family, just like to say, here we go, changing the world through folk art. May you have a wonderful mark.